Do you want us to do a theme tune? Yeah, I can do one. <laughs> after, because it sounded like it needed yeah, a theme tune afterwards. Good. We've got, we've got, we've, we've got a music. We, we, wow. But we're professionals. <laughs> it all cuts to a credits. Does, Does it? it? Do it. Good morning. Welcome to a very special Fringe Festival support. Fringe. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It's like the actual Hold fringe. Hold the note. Hold the note. Someone don't mind. No, no, there's another. It turns out it is four weeks long. Hi. Welcome to Fringe Festival Support. <laughs> That was possibly the best opening we've ever had. We are a community spirit program uh, to try and encourage performers and workers at the festival to talk to each other more about how they're coping, how they're doing, spread stories about how things have gone wrong in the past and how you shouldn't worry about it, how you can pick yourself up. Uh, it's just, it's all for you. It's all for you. Um, the information in terms of how you can get in touch with us, you can send us questions uh, on Twitter, Facebook, the website, or you can donate to our GoFundMe page, uh, which is not looking very lively so far, so you could, uh, you could get in on that. Um, we're supported by the Mental Health Foundation, uh, the Mental Health Foundation rather, that almost sounded like mental health, and that's not the same thing at all. Uh, we have two guests with us today. We have Camilla Whitehill. Hello. Hi. And we have James Rowland. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, well, um, I don't know. It's very early. It is early. It yeah. is early. I'm not going to make a deal of it. I, I don't want to make, I don't want to be like dramatic about it, but this might kill me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's good to have to, some drama. We've, we've had a lot of comedians on the show this year. I think yeah. this is the first theatre panel, if we but can call it that. I think I'm funnier than almost every professional comedian. Makes sense. She is. She so, yeah. so, yeah, it'll probably be better. Okay. Um, and I, yeah, I don't feel like I need to label my shows as funny for people to laugh. Right. <laughs> Although it does help sell, it does help sell tickets. <laughs> yeah, 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 apparently. Yeah, we were talking about that, weren't we? The fact that everyone's like, it's, it's funny. It's, it's a funny show, even if it's about something dreadful. Um, Camilla, Camilla what, do you, what do you do? What's your, what's your thing? Um, I am a television theatre writer, and I'm also like a phenomenal dancer, but it's underused. <laughs> right, like, that's fair enough. I'm always like, yeah. I'd say I'm a triple threat, but just one that will never be famous, which is tragic. Um, so I spent, actually spent most of my time writing. Right, and you've had quite a few shows here. I've had a few. You've I, done pretty I love well. Playing. Yeah, <laughs> I, like, I like being sad. So yeah, I've had a few, four. <laughs> You started up here in 2014. I was in a um, moderately unsuccessful sketch show, and we did it for a year until we got two stars in the Guardian. Then we immediately quit. Right. <laughs> okay. That is like not an exaggeration. Yeah, I think that is. That, I think that's the rule, isn't it? Anything oh, else? a hundred percent. If Brian Logan's like mm, two stars, like, well, thanks, lad. We, 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 we give it a go. Chuck the prop dolphin in the bin. We're going home, <laughs> and that's how it went. Prop dolphin. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, you've not got a show here this year, you're no. just here for fun. I'm here to support the people I know who make the horrible mistake of going to the Edinburgh Fringe every year. And several other people. And yeah, I, I find it quite invigorating, especially when you don't have a show on. Because like, it's great, I love seeing, I love going to see shows and without the horrifying sort of like clawed hand of despair on your shoulder <laughs> about the fact that you have a show up. It's mm. really like, it's kind of like going on holiday. Therapeutic. Mm. It's like letting a crop field lie fallow for a year. Are you planning? Okay. Are, you, are, you, <laughs> are you planning to come back? I mean, no one plans to yeah. come back, do they? <laughs> I'm never like. I'm always like, no. But if someone was like, could you sign a contract saying you'll never do any again? Like, I would not. <laughs> so it's so. I'm sure. I, I'm sure I will at some point. Okay, James, you're making up the stuff. <laughs> you're, you're doing. Some shows. I'm doing the three shows. So many shows. And then sometimes I'm doing all three on one night, which is not a fourth show really, but people keep on saying I'm doing four shows. I guess it's well. So it's three <laughs> a a three hour show. <laughs> yeah, one for, well it's four hours because there are two intervals. Uh, of fifty minutes. The balls of him. It's amazing. Mm, no one is coming. Mm. And you look <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. 20 Ooh. sweet, sweet people every Sunday for that four hour show. <laughs> and these are shows that you've had here before. I think yeah, so the three. last three years, um, 2016 to 2019, I made a trilogy. And so we brought it back so that we can do them essentially for this Sunday night thing that <laughs> is very poorly attended. Um, but uh, it's, that's why is to sort of do them all as one thing, um, uh, which is nice. Coping? You. Yeah, I really like it here. I always have a really nice time so far. 
I think once you've once you've done it a few times, like coming back, you're like, okay, I know how this, I know how this works. I think it's always difficult at the beginning. Do you remember the first? Do you remember the first time? Yeah. Well, so no one. My very first year, I was in a show that I had no investment in uh, it at all, and it was also incredibly successful. So I was really happy um, and drunk for an entire month. It was great. Um, uh, but so the 2016, when I did my first show, I was sort of all right again, just because I'd been around so many people who'd done it for so long that I, I knew not to set my expectations high. So when two people came to my first show, did I want the floor to open up and fall into it? Yes, I did. Sure. But um, also, I was sort of expecting to feel that way, so it wasn't the worst thing. Was that Team Viking? That was, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. The first day, so um, the yeah, the the room was very bad. Two people came, um, n neither of whom spoke English uh, uh, tremendously. Were they Vikings? They they weren't. The bar. Uh, they were from China, and they were really nice. Um, but it's there isn't much apart from the words in the show, and so when I. They sort of um, talked to me afterwards and were like, we didn't get that. And also during the show, I discovered that there was uh, going to be a wood workshop happening above the room um, every day. These um, are the stories. I teched at a, diff at a different time <laughs> to the when the show was on. That room was terrible. It was not a good room. It was just awful. But then this is where we flip it and say, how did it go towards the end of the run? Oh my God! Uh, it, it was still a woodwork. It was still <laughs> there was still a woodwork shop going on, but you know I really made a virtue of it um, by telling the audience to ignore it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, it was by the end. It was nice. The like lots of people were coming, um, but um, honestly, I was still having a nice time the first two weeks when nobody was. Like yeah. there were, of course, but like normal, it is normal in life to feel happy and sad at different times, and it's fine to feel sad about a show that you're doing. Um, but um, but yeah, so I would say that fringe, I didn't particularly like go. It, there, there was no correlation between the number of audience in my show and my happiness. Right. Um, uh, it was, uh, but there were more people coming by the end, which is good, was, was good for my career. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now I'm still here, and it seems to be okay. It's just the law of averages, isn't it? You just yeah. increase the odds. Yeah, You've got hundred exactly. people in there. Yeah, you know, chances are. I mean, that would be great. I mean, I'm oh, looking forward to that. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. <coughs> and you've been ridiculously successful here. You've you've had lovely reviews, mm. almost almost exclusively from what I could find. No, I think I just I think. I think I've paid someone to bury all the <laughs> Yeah, it's that clever Google yeah, search, yeah. search I just, engine. I paid Google. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Google, here's a check. Yeah. $100. I, yeah, dollars, yeah. yeah. I only trade in American money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, I, ha I have had really bad reviews too. Um, but I have had a lot of good reviews. I would love to care less about reviews. I, like, people that don't really care, I'm like, how? <laughs> How don't you care? It, I, it's so irritating because I, I genuinely don't think that like, the majority of people writing reviews in Edinburgh have like, reviews that are worth anything, but I'm still obsessed with them liking my work. Yeah. It's just really weird. Yeah, I mean, it's the same as audiences. Isn't it? You, you want everybody to really enjoy it. I want really people to think it. I'm a genius. As yeah. That is literally why I'm, I do it. And if you didn't like it, go, <laughs> go bitch about it like around the corner in the bar. Don't but like don't it, put like, it in a paper. Do, like, how dare you yeah. put it in a paper? Or don't put it on the internet. Don't say it, even, to anyone. <laughs> like, I also categorically think you're wrong, because I think I'm a genius. We've got to show up here, somebody, an audience member wrote a review and they wrote it on the audience reviews section of the Ed Fringe site uh, well, and then they put it on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and tagged us in. Just I'm so guessing oh. it was negative. Just so that we knew that <laughs> it was oh average. Oh God. What a strange thing to do. People are weird. That sort of compulsion to, to tell people that... I think I do that sometimes. <laughs> like, if I see a show and I don't like it and my friend's in it, and they're like, did you like it? No, but that's just telling the truth, because they're yeah, asking. Like, no. Yes. I think it's better to tell the truth in that scenario. Oh, I think that's true. I'd be really upset if someone said to me, like, I loved a show, and I found out they didn't love that they lied about it, because yeah. I'd be like, that's dumb. But I would still hate them. I mean, I'd hate them either way. I hate everyone. 
<laughs> I like those bold ones where you have to, you try and find something nice to say about it. Like I like the lighting, or you know, I thought it was very atmospheric. I don't even know whether I do that. There right. are nice things to find about any show, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, uh, not. I was no, 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 like, no, not any show. Usually, but you can try. Usually, and there them. is a thing that you can genuinely say. Yeah. Like, often, I'll see my friends who are actors in shows, and I think they're brilliant, and they're still brilliant. The show is just bad, mm. so it's not. Yeah. It, I can still say you were brilliant. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm not really friends with that, like people that aren't talented because that would just sound. It's exhausting. quite. It's quite difficult. Like, isn't and it? what would you talk to them about? Yeah. You'd be like. You just have to back slowly away out of a lot of conversations. Like, yeah. yeah. I'd just be like, I'd be like, like how's just, work? Someone the was like, but do you even know anyone that you think is bad? And I was like, oh no. Not friend. <laughs> not like no, definitely not, not close friends. No. That was us having that conversation. Yeah. I think if you thought they were really bad, it'd be quite hard to. What do you talk to about? Be friends with them. They'd be like, do you think I should take this to the room? Did you be like? No. Don't take it anywhere ever. <laughs> <laughs> don't show it to your mum. Don't, don't. You've got to stop. Maybe see a doctor. Just sending them job, like jobs. <laughs> it's a cafe around the corner from me. They're it's really, really nice, it's really like nice people. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> Which fringe do you mean? Like, Hastings fringe. Yes, maybe. <laughs> they would lap that up. They'd eat that up. I'm from Hastings. Okay. And they started a fringe a couple of years ago, and I was like, lads, why not? <laughs> Dream very big. weird. <laughs> I do know a story of uh, somebody who, who knew somebody in the play, and after the after the show, they met up, and they said, "So, what did you think?" And he said, "You were in a play, and I was there." That's yeah. a good one. That's yeah. true. Although someone said that to me, I probably punched them in the face. <laughs> there is that. There is <laughs> that. Like, mm, okay. Mm. So, uh, you've spent quite a lot of time in Edinburgh, accrued over the years. Mm. Where where do you like? Where do you go? What's what's good? Um. What do I like? I, I am I'm like a very I like a sort of per, like a Persian cat. I'm really specific about where I go, mm -hmm. and I bitch about it if I'm somewhere I don't like to be. Like yeah, um, and so I I do get quite specific about where I like going in Edinburgh. Um, sorry, so sorry, I just wanted to fly. It was really exciting. Yeah, there's a couple of hours around. Very action very swatting. <laughs> Don't do it on camera, for goodness sake. No, you know, like don't, don't have any drama and entertainment to this show. I liked it. Um, so yeah, there's venues I don't really like. Okay, and list them, in order. <laughs> Which ones do you really hate? What ones do I hate? I don't know. I'm don't kidding, like we don't hate no, I'm not going to do that, we don't hate no. But like, there's venues I like to sit in and venues I don't. And then like, outside of that, there's like, I talk about this place all the time, but there's this cafe called Hula on Grass Market that I literally... I'm obsessed with, and I talk about it all the time. And I, it's like really healthy food, and it's for a minute, especially if you're doing the month, it, it makes you feel like maybe you won't die really soon. Yeah. And like that's quite a nice sort of feeling after like three weeks of just like smoking 47 cigarettes a minute and just like drinking. Like Last night I was like, someone's like, do you want a drink? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, a beer. And I was like, no, sorry, I've already spoiled beer for myself this week. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I've, 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 had, had I've had to move on to cider now. By the end, now. you'll just be like straight to tequila. <laughs> yeah, and so be like, all I'm really drinks. sorry. Have you got any, uh, have you got any pims? Uh, I love that. I've given up on beer, but I've moved to cider. Yeah, because exactly. obviously that's healthier. It's, it's just it's a different it. flavour. It's all just like you've just yeah. drunk so much with it. I've, I've exhausted it. Yeah. Another one, you're gonna die. I just don't know. I, car, once, sorry. I once smoked so much at an Edinburgh Fringe when Wedlock Girls was on that I came home and had to quit because I physically couldn't fit any more smoking to my life. <laughs> I literally had to be like, well, this is. I was smoking so much that I was turning into like like a character on a soap. Like, I felt like I was any second now gonna get out like one of those holes in your throat that you have to breathe out. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Um, it's like something about Edinburgh that there's like no boundaries. Um, where else do we like? I uh, we argue about what, but we don't have the same taste in where we like to go. No. So we just have an argument about yeah, that. I original like old couple. Here we being, go. Uh, I like being anywhere with friends. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't particularly like the atmosphere in uh, the abattoir. I okay. love the abattoir. There we go. I like crying there. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, I feel like if you're having a cry, that is quite soft furnishing. And I love crying. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's like, um, yeah. I like to cry in a place where you almost certainly will bump into someone that you've recently slept with. Yeah. Like it just adds the, it adds a sort of frisson to the yeah. <laughs> It's a good I'm nervous energy when you're walking around, you're looking around every corner. You're like, oh God, oh. <laughs> I think it's part of it's interesting. It's a very, movie. very strong <laughs> mood. <laughs> yeah. I, I look for that from a place. I also like, uh, I like anywhere that feels a bit bougie. Like, and we were, we were talking about the various 
like you know members bars yeah and like you sort of ranking them i like brooks bar because everyone can go there and so it's not really exclusive (laughs) which i like about it i like the fact that people are like well here we are and it's fine there's no one there's no one will stop you i I feel like i like going places where i feel like it's exclusive because i'm a bit just to explain to f- like first time as people Sorry. aren't as experienced with the fringe. <laughs> so some of the bigger venues, if you're lucky enough to be performing there and have a pass, you get access to their private bar. Mm. Yep. Uh, a lot can, of sex goes down there. So much shagging. Not for you. No, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Just what say it. <laughs> we talked about it last night. Somebody has to explain it. Yeah, I've done, um, I've done the drawings. Um, yeah, so Brooks Bar is the Pleasant Theatre Members Bar. Abattoir is the Underbelly yeah. one. Gilded yeah. Balloon have one That's the upstairs. weird one. That's like, do you, it's like, do you want to see someone you watched on a panel show in the late 90s in a suit, like stare across the room with a look of desperation so acute that it could make you be sick? Yes. If so, lock bar. <laughs> like, but okay. it's such a specific thing you're looking for in that case. I also, places which aren't like that, I really like a couple of the folk music pubs. It is very calming to just go to a pub yeah. that hasn't particularly changed its personality for the fringe. So the Royal Oak and the Captain's Bar are both. I was really going to say, now, some people have mentioned the Captain's Bar, but we, we've kind of avoided using the name because we don't want people to turn up there. Um, uh, but, but fortunately, no one's watching this, so uh, that's true. so we can talk about we say it. Anything. I did a show. I did a concert. show in there for a year. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, that, that was the first year I came up. I was playing the piano in the Captain's Bar for four hours a day. Sweet. That's a fucking easy job, isn't it? Are we allowed to swear in this? Yes, absolutely. I was. Uh, I wouldn't have invited you otherwise. I was improvising. Oh, wait, you love it. Yeah. I, on that note, I really love, um, and I really won't hear a word against it, doing karaoke at Frankenstein's, which is maybe one of my favourite places in the world because really? of like every 25 minutes or so, a fake Frankenstein comes out the wall. Yeah. Have you been there? No. So like I've always walked past and thought, oh, that looks it's, terrible. It's fantastic. It's, okay. Um, yeah, it's awful. No, every but half like hour it. or hour, there's like all the music drops and it's like da 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 yeah. and then this door opens and Frankenstein comes out and then he's lowered. It, it takes like five minutes and then he's there for a bit and then he goes back and then he goes in and then the music starts again and honestly, what else are you looking what for? What a way to what live. Else are you looking for what a time it, to like, be alive. And you can do karaoke there on a Sunday mm. and I personally like doing that more than anything else at the fringe. And I, every time I did the month, it's my birthday during Edinburgh Fringe, like mm. cursed, a cursed point. And that is what I would like to go and do on my birthday when I'm at Fringe. You want to be the Frankenstein's monster that comes out of the uh, uh, No, the well, wall. yes, but like, <laughs> yeah, that's ideally. not an option, so doing karaoke yeah. It's like disgusting. It's like the world's most disgusting bar. I'm obsessed with it. If I lived here, I'd go there like w- twice a week. I think a lot of people say that about the City Cafe as well. That I like, was just about to talk about City Cafe, like which for some reason... It's sort of the opposite of Hula. It, it, it is, is, but this, I, my, the first year I did the Fringe, I was at um, Just the Tonic... What's that venue? The, the Caves? Pub, the no, Mash House? No, the pub, the weird random... Oh, the Globe? No. The one that's basically opposite the City Cafe. Okay. I can't, the Tron. The Tron. The Tron. Yes. And um, I probably spent, I probably went there every day. And still, like to this morning, I was thinking, if I don't go there when I'm here, it's like, it's like bad luck because mm. I always go. And it's something about it that's so comforting. I don't know what it is. It's because you've been there before and you remember yeah, it. Yeah, it's like a little home and it's always exactly the same. It yeah. doesn't change year. And it's like, it's, it's exactly yeah. the same. It's they don't a add to the menu. It, the menu is weird. I, I love it. It's so odd. I like wings. I mean, I, I eat meat, which makes me a bad person, but there is a place called Wings that just does wings with different sauces, and it's nice. Uh, where else do I like? I like loads. I like, love Moss Kitchen. I always yeah. eat Moss Kitchen yeah. all the time. Yeah. It is very cheap and very nice, and it's over there. And if you don't go, like, right in the middle of lunchtime, it's usually, like, really quiet. Yeah, it's great. There's three right different the ones. Yeah, yeah, well, don't go in the restaurant. You go out yeah, the back, down the, the alley. Yeah. Oh. Into yeah, the into the, the kitchen where you can actually see them like making it. It's really nice. I really like the first year I was up. I you know how like when you get to sort of third week you look like shit all the time and mm. there's nothing you can do about Speak that. Speak to yourself. I was going to say you usually fully by about, I look about fantastic. you. I'm usually on that by day three. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you like literally as soon as you get on the train you're like oh it's gone. <laughs> um, I I was up in the first year. My dad got me a voucher for a, a place called Zen Spa, which is like a beauty place, and I got a facial done there. And doing that was like, it, it literally completely cheered me up. But also that night at like the abattoir, someone was like, wow, did you just get up? And I was like, that is how successful that facial is. And I recommend it to people all the time. And they look at me like, oh, it's Edinburgh, I'm not gonna go and have a facial, but I'm like, you look like shit, go and get a facial. 
it's one of those magical yeah. things that you think, right, day off, like, I'm going to do something, like, special. Yeah, so, rather than just lie in bed and cry. Yeah. Well, well you know, if that works for you. <laughs> but, like, Having I'll go to Portobello, I'm going to do after seat, I'm going to go for a spa. I've never done after seat. It's so far away, I can't be asked It's that. right there, mate. I am not walking up a hill. That's fine. I'm not going to make you better. It's just that I've factually you were incorrect. But it's like, <laughs> like <laughs> it's far away because it's up a hill. Yeah, when you yeah. get the top, like, yeah, no, yeah, actually, that's not, it's, it's not like yeah. there, it's like Yeah, there. don't act like it's just like... It's 40 it's minutes. It's on the mile. Straight like, up, mate. I mean, it does 40? literally finish at the bottom of the mile. I've never walked more than two minutes in my life. No, I can't How far up could you get on one of those like bike pedal? Uh, you can actually get a taxi quite close to the top of us. I knew seat. you did that once, but yeah. then I didn't trust you. I don't trust you when you say stuff like that because I know it will mean I'm going to have to walk some. Oh yeah, it's still yeah, like. So a I'm not doing that with you. Twenty minutes. Not, <laughs> that is good. That's good to know for accessibility as well. Like, well, yeah. can I just say exactly? I am. I have accessibility needs. Yeah. So like. Everyone's like, you need the earth a seat and then you can like snog someone and cry. And I'm like, or stay here and do the same thing, but on flat ground. I didn't snog anyone or cry when I was up there. I just looked at the view. Do you not cry much? What I did was I, actually, I actually went up there and just like flip Edinburgh the bird. Because oh, I think right. we just had a bad review right. and it felt very therapeutic. That does sound nice. Did you nearly chuck yourself off it? No, not at all. That's good. It's, qu it's quite a gentle slope. For people, you roll. You for people with uh, accessibility issues, though, Calton Hill is very easy to get up, and the view is in some ways better, because yeah. you can also see Arthur's seat from it. Yeah. So that is actually where, if I'm, uh, if I'm awake for sunrise, I like to go to. That's just north of the tracks, just yep. around the just corner? Just over the bridge, and then there's a staircase or another way up. It's actually very easy to get up. Good tip. Um, it's nice. It's very pretty. Yeah. It's like if 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 half the seat is like a black slope, then Carlton Hill is is like a green, a, a yellow. I don't know. I don't ski. Green. I have no idea. I think green is the easy thing. one. Wait, let's not bring up skiing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the second one, because just before the show, no golf, no <laughs> skiing. No Tory sports. No Tory sports. Because <laughs> I find that stressful. Oh, yeah. that fox hunting segment. Is gonna yeah. to, that's going to have to go. Um, other things that I think are great is there are lots of gyms that cost £50 pounds, um, that have, like, so the one that I have joined has a sauna and a steam room. And it's 50 pounds for the month. 50 quid for the month. What, two quid a day? I mean, if you were to go every day, <laughs> like some <laughs> sort of <laughs> absolute <laughs> legend. Right. Um, I, if I, so it, it costs 15 pounds to go once. Okay. And my job is to make sure it's worth my money. Yeah. I've been three times, so oh, I'm right, nearly there. there. So just, just, just a half. Then I can quit, yeah. But I don't actually do any exercise there. Apparently there are machines and, and things to pick up and put down again. No. But um, I horrible. just get in the hot rooms. Yeah. Get in the hot rooms. He just wants it. to sweat it out, baby. And then have a little swim. Have you not been in the Pleasance Cabaret bar? That's oh, no, true. If you need, if you need yeah, a hot room, you're just doing shows. Yeah. <laughs> you can yeah, everyone be quiet. They refuse to stop doing the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, last year, there was a show outside of Summerhall, or a show in Summerhall called Sauna. So they brought, like, there was a finished show, and they actually brought a sauna over and used it to try and fly a people, which was a dreadful idea, but it did mean that I had a sauna every day. And last year was the first Edinburgh Fringe I've not been ill. So okay. I am now a true believer in sweating out the evil. You're linking those two yeah, things? Yeah, I do think that's probably, I think that probably helps. Because, yeah. like, during the month at Edinburgh, always... Always ill. Always ill. Like... I, when I was doing that sketch, the first year I did it, I lost my voice for... <laughs> I lost my voice for, like, five or six days, to the point where the show was almost impossible to do. I was yeah. literally, like... Like, it was awful. And for that whole time, I was being really good. I was like, I can't believe I was like, I like, it was, like, you know, steaming, doing really honey and not drinking. And then on the fifth day, I was like... Fuck this. <laughs> Went out, got hammered, screamed loads. Next time my voice is back. Yeah. What's that about? Science. That's science, I don't know. baby. I don't know. It's <laughs> I don't know. Like, it worked. Yeah, so I would really recommend that. So, go ways to talk. look after yourself go to the gym, get slaughtered. Yeah. Oh, okay. don't go to oh, the gym. Don't go to the gym. <laughs> 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 that makes it sit sound in, like exercise. Sit in a hot room. Sit in a, hot room. Sit in a big hot room. <laughs> sit, go to a spa. Treat yourself. Yeah, then don't do exercise. No, no, no. Like, no. Why are you it's also out like genuinely like if you are hungover and you go, you, you get you, it's so much better after a sauna. Now you, you don't feel hungover. Do you work for sauna? I <laughs> work for no, no. It's the sauna. sauna. Yeah, there's the plural of sauna is sauna. Sauna. <laughs> <laughs> I work for the Finnish Tourist Board. Uh, I would believe that, but you look like you work for Scandinavian Tourist Board. This is, this is a Team Viking like, It's just uh, the whole, all the shows are just, it, it's, it's all actually neuro-linguistic programming. <laughs> just, um, Stop using long words, nobody is impressed by that. Hey, some people just know words. words. <laughs> <laughs> some no. people just know words professionally. <laughs> the great thing, 
the great thing about this being on like YouTube is that people can pause it, do a quick Google, <coughs> go like, okay, then go back, rewind a little bit. I'm and it's sure like, they'll oh, do that. I get that. I'm that's, sure they'll do that. That's maybe, very yeah. droll. I'm sure that they'll, that's be, they'll be right droll. on the old Google. <laughs> <laughs> um, marketing. How, how, have you been involved with like promoting the shows? Do you fly? Flying is the thing that we always end up talking about, really. Right. I refuse. I've, I've never flied them. I refuse. Um, no. I'd rather no one was there. Um, me and Jamie. Jamie are you Jamie? Which one are you, James? Uh, me and James have really different views on marketing. Actually, like. Mm, yeah. Well. On we, my marketing. We previously had an <laughs> argument. Yeah. Yeah. We had, yeah. So uh, uh, I don't fly. I, I think there is no, like, potentially nothing more awful than flying for your own show. Mm. Even though I totally get it, it works. Like it, it sh but just for me, telling people to come and see me, I would much rather fly for someone else. And I have done. Like I've grabbed a bunch of my friends' flyers and gone and flied for them for five minutes. Mm. Yeah. That, happy to Easy. do that. Easy, great. Being like, could you come and see this thing? It took me two years to write. I I'm really care about it, and yeah. I'm so heartbroken that you're looking at me like that. It's, like, it's the worst. Too much. It's but I, I mean, I'm a big proponent of like, I think throw, I'm a big, I think I'm, a, I'm really a big fan of if you can the throw money at the problem um, approach, which is get a really good PR. Um, but also uh, like visuals, like poster is really important to me. What it looks like, flyer, um, social media presence, that sort of thing. I do. I have like historically taken like quite an active role in just because I'm really, really funny about like unattractive posters or. I just think that can really damage. Well, it's you. part of a show yeah. as well. It, I but think. it is. But people don't. Yeah. I don't know whether people think about it enough. Like there's, like, it, there are so many visuals in Edinburgh. Like you, you pass like so many posters mm. and so many flyers, which and, are not good. Which are not good. And you're like, I don't want to see. That could be the best show in the world, but you've pissed me off. Yeah, it's also more. <laughs> so even if it I is, hate you. but even if it is the best show in the world, like you can more or less guarantee that the one thing people will have seen before they come and see your show is whatever the image is and the title, yeah. which means that you that you is your that is already the beginning yeah. of their feeling about yeah, the show. And important. so it's really important. But that also that's for me, I'm not like, something that doesn't represent If you it, haven't or, put thought and care into what it looks like, for me, I'm like, why should I bother seeing your show? Because you haven't thought about how it, what it is. And, yeah. and I like, if I see a really beautiful poster or something that like that really like that grabs my attention. I'm like that. There's the attention to detail makes me want to see their show. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that's like mad, but that is how we work. We we are like so. visual people. I I think if if you look at it and think that that poster is very artfully crafted, their show is probably also yeah. They've, they've probably, probably thought put about time it. But also, uh, also for me, like with comedy or theatre that is billed as kind of like really of the moment, if the visuals and the text on the marketing material don't reflect like right now, immediately, like zeitgeisty, like the way that we put things now, what's funny now, how we talk on Twitter, blah, blah, blah. If it doesn't reflect that, then I'm like, I'm not yeah. saying that. They're, they're, not, they're not talking about, they're not current enough for mm -hmm. me. And you say it's awkward flyering people like with your own face on it. And it uh, oh, I mean, it really I've, is. I've never done that. So, but, my, my but Jimmy Bob, you, uh, <laughs> you, you, you've had a flyer with your ass on it. Yes, well, I never fly it. He doesn't fly me. I <laughs> never, so I don't, I, so my theory of Flyering is very simple, like the economics of hiring someone to do it. It's like some people, some of my friends can and do fly for themselves, and it definitely works, and that's great. But if in any way it makes you feel sad or um, like it's difficult, you just pay someone yep. a proper wage 100%. to do it. Yep. Because if you're even if you're paying like so, generally the going rate just hasn't moved for flyers. So it's like ten quid now, which yeah. is which is. Okay, I guess. I've seen, um, a, bit of, I've seen a bit of twelve. Yeah, which is good. Ooh. Which is good. Pushing, and I think it's really. I think th that definitely should happen because it's I a really, really shit job. Now. Like, um, um, but if you get a good flyer uh, and they get twenty people into your show and you pay them twelve quid, you're like, you have made money off yeah. them. Yeah, like, hundred percent. Oh my god, I could not agree with that more. Like, yeah. so I think putting yourself in the position where you're flying for a show and then you have to, especially for a performer, you have to perform that show having just done like four hours of flying, which has made you feel like shit. Mm. Is the worst thing Horrible. you can do for yourself. Uh, yeah. And it's actually like in the in in the long run, like not gonna be And I, yeah, and like the other thing is like the best obviously there are stuff like PR is really important and posters and all of those things really can but the best the the most important thing about a show is that the show is good and the financial strains of Edinburgh mean that so often people are distracted and not thinking about their shows enough. Mm. Um, and and so you, yeah, so if you like, like somebody's spent four hours flyering and they're miserable and they're just worried about getting enough people in so that they don't have to like sell a kidney, mm. um, then they're not thinking about whether the show's going to be good or not. Mm. And so it's really that's such a 
so I think there's a lot of like sometimes I go and see especially solo shows which I think are probably the most or surely the most difficult thing to do in Edinburgh is if you're the person on stage and you wrote it um, I often feel like there's a lot of them are so cynical now like you go and you you know that they've sat down and thought well if I'm, I talk about this t terrible thing that happened to me um, it might sell, it's going to sell tickets because I'll say and you're like that's not why you should tell a story you should tell it because you're bursting to tell that story yeah. and so I think there's a lot of Edinburgh now where I go and sit down and, I th and afterwards I think oh, what are we all doing <laughs> <laughs> why did we do that why did you do that and what, and what are we getting mm. from it and who made you who made you think that you should do that it's a funny one yeah I could have watched half of Skyfall in that time <laughs> <laughs> look the weird choice. No, no. That is a real. I actually am on board. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. That. You like it. I love Skyfall. Uh, I like that song. Skyfall. I think it's stuck in my head because I, I went home for Christmas one year and my mum and I sat and watched it. And at the end, she turned to me and said, "Well, that killed a couple of hours." <laughs> it's like, cheers, mum. <laughs> great. Visit. Great. 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 Lovely to be there. Someone said that at the end of one of my plays. I'd be like, fair. fair. I'll take <laughs> it. I'll, I'll take it. I'm I'll like, take it. Oh, yeah. Uh, just while we're thinking about it, uh, flyers, um, there is actually, if, you hunt, if you're a performer and you need flyers, uh, or if you're a flyer and you need money, then uh, there are a couple of Facebook forums if you hunt around where there's quite active, lots of active people searching for people and they are moderated so that make sure people are getting paid properly oh, and treated properly. Uh, and a big shout out to all flyers who were working yesterday in the rainstorm that was incredible. Oh, job. Oh, baby. thankless job. I don't know how people do it. I saw one that we were in the Pleasant's Courtyard and like when the big the rain storm. came, uh, everybody was out and one flyer was stood right in the middle just like That's amazing. Aiming. And it's like there's there's a hero. That is amazing. A hero, terrible flyer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also the end of the I mean in fairness job. you're fired, but well very brave. <laughs> <laughs> Also, now has, <laughs> has flu and has to yeah, sit out the rest of the festival. Now. She died. Like it's, it's <laughs> very, very brave, but you can't do this. You can't. You, you really need to stay. Yeah. Um, where do you look to for support during the festival if you're feeling, if you're feeling down? How do, you, how do you cope with that? Sleep. Yeah. Number one. <laughs> it's probably like just because nothing's happening if you're sleeping and then friends. That's it. Do you do you stay up here with people? You got to yeah, yeah. I'm really lucky that uh, I've lived f all of the times I've done solo shows. I have been living with really good friends, which makes a huge difference. And it's not always a possibility for people because no. not everybody knows lots of people who are doing Edinburgh. Um, I have no friends. That's why I do the show. It's oh. like I just just get people in. Wow. It's like I can, that's really that's awkward. Awesome. I can yeah, because sort of we were just semblance. talking about how we can't have any more friends. friends. Right, okay. We like categorically don't. Sorry, that's... Oh, no, I don't want friends. I just want to give <laughs> oh, the impression. Oh, right. oh, 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 this yeah, is yeah, great. Yeah, this is really nice. I always, what a nice time we're having. I always <laughs> film my brunches. Um, <laughs> 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 well, where is the food? It's not arrived yet. Absolutely dreadful. I find the fringe really difficult, and I think that uh, shout out to anyone else that does because it's fine. Yeah. Like I, it's fine to every time be like, "Fuck, why yeah. did I do it?" And I think um, I would say like to anyone that has uh, like mental health problems and then also for some reason wants to exacerbate them by coming to the fringe, <laughs> it's really important to like take you know take your fucking medication and. Uh, I, I found it, I always find it helpful to call someone that was not mm -hmm. uh, in this industry or working yeah. at Edinburgh and talk to them and be like that. Um, Reach out into the real break world. Break that bubble. Yeah, break the bubble. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. I would kind of say, like, don't do Edinburgh. Like, I think my, my advice to lots of people is usually just, like, don't do it. Which, because if you're worried about your mental health, because yeah. in terms of that, well, it, it's yeah. bad. It is bad. It's bad for you. It is. It, is, really it, it, it can, like, so I'm incredibly lucky to l love it and find it a nice time um but it's it is really hard <laughs> like it it's, you know like what, well? like the fact that i have like they have a night is so to do with so many different like i the, like the i've been i was very lucky that the first time i came up it was in this way that was really good and then subsequently i've come up and done bits so by the time i was doing my first show on my own i'd been to edinburgh loads i sort of knew a lot of people um, I knew the city really well, and also I, I just made sure that like it was my first show. I made sure I was in another show with friends, so I had that. And like, there are so many different things that you have to do to like. But I don't know whether there's. Uh, I 
I, this is like such a bleak sort of standing on it, but I don't think there's much you can do to make sure you're going to have a happy friend. So yeah. I like when I did, uh, my, I had a play up called Where Little Birds Go, which was at uh, Underbelly in 2016, 15, 15. And um, like it was a like a fringe hit, like mm. it sold out the whole run. It got, you know, fantastic reviews. And um, I should have been like absolutely top of the world, but I was like having mm. such a bad period of mental health problems that I like, physically couldn't enjoy it. And there was nothing that I could have done. Yeah, there's no. There was nothing. There's I nothing. Done. Yeah. And, it's, and I don't. I, I don't want people to. I think like there's the, unfortunately the way that the world is. You look at someone else's show and you see them there. Well, they got four stars in the Guardian, and they got that. They got someone else's like, four star is, is like so much more important than yours. Mm, yeah. That's not what I was saying. So, no, 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 um, no, 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 no. Don't talk about it. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that they're happy. Like, yeah. just because your show has got like three stars in the list and not much else, but you're like doing something with your mate and you're having kind of fun, you're probably you 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 are almost certainly better off than like lots of people who ostensibly have these massive hit shows. Yeah. I don't. I. It's like. It's just, I think, if if you're in the, if you're like where we are now, like second week of Fringe and you're feeling really shitty, I I, I don't know, I, I kind of I, I always found it beneficial just to hear like that's fine, and mm. also you can always go home. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, you can. Like fuck it. the world won't end if you decide I, to cancel your run. I left early because it was fine, and I we re I was only up because we couldn't afford. We needed. We had such a massive set. I had to stay up for the month to make sure that we could get, do the getting and get out every day, which drove me completely nuts. Because like I, I would watch the audience come in and be like, if you don't fucking like this playing, like, um, and then sort of like a few days before the end, I was like, I have to leave, mm. and it, we just it got sorted out. Like people were just arranged off around. A lot of performers tend to be like quite control freaky, kind of you know, like to be in control of things. And there's so many intangibles here that you just can't, you just can't control. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to clarify that I wasn't saying that stuff that I did meant that like that. I, I, th there's any foolproof way of doing stuff. I, I didn't no, say no, 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 I know you didn't. No, I, I mean, no, what, I know, I'm clarifying because I thought myself, not because you what, said that. What we were um, saying here as well is that like, we, we're not giving <laughs> mental health advice. We're, we're sharing stories oh, so that you can see that other people, <laughs> so that you can see other people are like going through the same thing as you are and, they're all, and this is how they cope and maybe that would help. I would say yeah. if you are having serious problems, like the first step would be maybe French Central, they do meetings, you can talk to somebody there. Um, I would then say the Mental Health Foundation website, obviously I would, but also Calm and you know, various other Mind, various other charities. Um, and if you need serious help, then again, through the Mental Health Foundation website, you can get all like proper scientific advice, not from, not from, not from booze hands and, ki and kebab eaters. I am a medical professional. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'll take that back. Just give Absolutely hit up Camilla on Twitter terrifying, and, uh, yeah. and, and just do. take advice. I'm a doctor. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's one of those pauses. Yeah. Sorry, I, th I thought you were going to say something. I was just thinking about how sad it, it it life is. <laughs> 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 I mean, that was just the void for a second. I if anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there as well. I was I just about like, to say oh, something, and I was like. Jesus no. Christ. I was just thinking, how early can we cut this off? <laughs> we're just, we've just, we've, we're at the bottom of the oh, hole let's now. Just shoot ourselves. <laughs> we need to start. Can't end on that note. We need to start. There's probably someone, you know, no one. Is anyone watching this? Who watches this? We need to start digging up. <laughs> <laughs> we need to start digging upwards. What are you looking forward to? What, what, what are you looking forward to? In the fringe. Yeah. In the fringe. This year, what's a good win for you, James? Uh, I, well, I just like all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I am looking forward to having more nice times, drinking with friends, and probably watching very few shows. Um, because, that, oh, that's something I think that really helps. Is like, so there's the, uh, in terms of stuff that helps you not um, go mad, is there's so much pressure. People, fellow performers, put so much pressure on each other to see each other's shows mm. and do that. And that is not a thing you have to do. No, that I is not why that. you are here. Like, you're here to do a show, and that's it. That's the... And especially if someone comes to see your show, don't feel like you have to go and see theirs in return, or vice yeah, or versa. Yeah, it's not a oh transactional I gave up there that are, there scenario. Are that do that. Thing. That's a live thing. I gave that, that whole thing years ago. Like, just because your friend has made a show, you don't have to see it. See your shows because you want to see them. Yeah. Like, and also, like, it's not good for the if you're someone, who, people that are like, oh, yeah, exactly. If you're like a putting pressure on your friends to come and watch a show, think about what that is doing to your audience. <laughs> like, yeah. is that? And also, like, it, surely everyone's aim is to be able to do this in a way that is self-sustaining. 
and you can't, that's not uh, professional. Yeah, to no, be you like, can't just be like, I'm going to do a West End run based on me <laughs> forcing just, my friends to come and sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're, we're quite lucky this year because we're, we're doing this show in the morning and uh, our theatre show is at like a 10 past one, so we're yeah. done by two. Lovely. And and then we can go see shows and stuff. Oh, nice. But other we'll people won't have that luxury. Like first time I was up here, I had a horrible fringe because I was nervous as hell. Our show was like 10.40 at night and you wake up in the Ooh. morning and it's like, oh, I've got to wait the whole day. That's what James is finding this fringe. 9 p.m. is, is quite late for yeah. a show. And then you come off and you full of adrenaline and you want to go out and like, there's no- I'd do that anyway. My day's I mean, that's now. nice. Wow, yeah. like, wow that's yeah. not quite the funny thing about Edinburgh, staying out to 5 a.m. Yeah, I like that. I do that regardless of when my show finishes, so it is quite healthy for me to be finishing at about 10.30. Yeah. Um, it's like definitely better for me. I can't drink as much as I used to. Coffee I'm very coffee. old. Yeah. <laughs> you are very old. I'm so old. I'm over 40 now. We're, like, yeah. we're, in, we're in bed, by, we're in bed like 10, 10.30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I haven't, I haven't found out yet. Did you yeah. <laughs> 39 now, and yeah. It's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's a very different experience from, from like when, when I first came up. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're in, we're in bed early. We're looking after ourselves, sort of. Yeah, but we've got an early no show. <laughs> it's not. It's not a brag. <laughs> it's not a brag. I'm, I'm desperate to be out till five a.m. I would love it. It's just I know that that's not good for me. Yeah. So I'm well, I'm, I'm playing my. It's only a month a year, in which you completely destroy yourself. And the rest of the year, you can um, do that, but sort of. But the bars aren't open as late. Yeah. That's know. the thing. Is it's that's just it's very nice for me because I like being I awake, drinking all night, drinking and they just let you. Awake, they the won't stop you. That's they it. will not stop you. I've only once been refused service at the Pleasance, um, or indeed anywhere, and oh, they. Congratulations! Sorry, <laughs> I've only once. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let no, no, let, 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 no, wait, wait. Let me get to the end of it. And then they told me like a few days later that it was mistaken identity. That it yeah. wasn't me that they were cutting off. But it was it was me. It was me. It was me and my friend and we went in and they were like sorry we've been told by the door staff that we can't serve you and we were like well we are pretty drunk <laughs> we <laughs> were like we're not gonna fair. we're not gonna fight this one can i just say actually on that um a, a lot of people that come into the fringe i think are really really strict with themselves and are like you should do this and go to bed like this and especially like if you're in your 20s or whatever i'm like no just have fun like yeah the best times i had was when i just let myself have as much fun it as is a party and fringe. you're paying to be here you're yeah paying out your also, if you can see shows, see shows. Like see shows see you want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so invigorating. There are so many shows oh, you will find so something. Yeah, yeah. I've only been here two days. I've seen some incredible stuff. Like, so much good stuff up. Like, go and see stuff and then you'll be inspired and happy. Yeah. See something weird. Like, see something different. See yeah. some magic. Oh, see some stuff. Yeah. That see some see blood. Some Just go and watch magic. magic. Go it's the best. Magic. It's better than theatre or comedy. <laughs> 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 Just go and watch magic. Or maybe circus, because that's quite impressive as well. Yeah. Actually, what? Circus, that's a good one. It's like, yeah, there's... Stuff you don't know how to do and you'll never... And you're like, yeah. oh, how did they? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you go to comedy, you go, I could do that. I could do that. I you go to circus, so it's rarely like... I rarely think people are funnier I'm than done. me, that I literally, like, I'm almost always like, that's brilliant, I could have done it. I <laughs> also just think it's very needy, isn't it? Whereas the circus people, you're just like, oh, why? They don't need you. They, they don't need, need anything. They can do backflips. They can, like... <laughs> they yeah, they that's can, good it's Or for free, you go to the meadows and those people that put the wires in between no, the two trees, just watch that for... Just watch that for a <laughs> that is oh, not no circus. Have you never off. seen circus? <laughs> that circus isn't sort I, of being on a wire very close to the ground. I was, I was, close was, to the circus hunter. They still do that. And the, yeah. the belly, sort of the, go there. Yeah, yeah. Like there. That's on the meadows. It's, it's yeah. like... I always because it's, like, it's like two minutes away from where those people it's do a trailer. that, and I feel like they're they're auditioning. <laughs> they're yeah, just like, I'm going to get spotted, and I'm going to be in there doing ground. this like yeah, six like foot above like the ground. Yeah, there's incredible Brazilian circus troupe that are like standing all on the top of their They're like, well, we sort of near. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got halfway across, and then no, no, that. Yeah, always white people with dreads. You can't trust white people with dreads. <laughs> that's that's a motto. Mustn't, mustn't trust them. And a motto. Mm. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, God, I know so it's early. It's really early. Go and have a fantastic time. Do it. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again with more people. <laughs> We're going to be chuckling here for a little while. So uh, go help yourself to some French. I can make a I don't know why. It's an excellent. Excellent. I forgot that we were doing it.
how you deal with audiences. What, it, what do you do to pick yourself up? You I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This you're, is yeah, brilliant. I'm barely, I'm <laughs> this barely is so good. Because that dude is fighting is... with her door. <laughs> Every time he goes away from it, it, it opens. opens. And when he goes to it, it and closes. It's so exciting. <laughs> it's stuck on reverse. It's so exciting. <laughs> I've actually got the control here. Oh, there you go. That would be so good and weird for it to be built onto the table. Just stay away. <laughs> that, was, that was the best show I've seen this I from. Know.